Hello, it's Varun here. Today in this video, we are going to start a new series for the Landrise dashboard. And first of all, we are going to features uh, we are getting using the Landrise dashboard and uh, how to configure them, what are the options you have to display certain things for different different roles and uh, what are the individual features uh, we have to manage our courses. First, uh, I am starting with the dashboard functionality. So on the dashboard, we are getting a complete summary of the our courses. So like uh, we have a first detail section, which is going to display how many courses it have, how many quizzes, as assignment, pending assignment, lesson count, topics, and total number of students. And these counts are for the admin that is going to calculate all the courses what we have. For instructor, it will only calculate only those courses which belong to that individual instructor. For the course management point of view, we have uh, these options where they can manage uh, their courses, lessons, topics, quizzes, questions, certificate, assignment, announcement, and groups. And these options they can manage from the front end. So for the first, we are navigating back to the course section. So this is the course section where you have all the courses available here. And uh, for the modification of course or adding a new course, you can click on the add new course option or you can edit any existing course. First of all, uh, when we are going to create a new course from the front end, so it, you are getting following options like you can include course title, uh, you can publish it as a draft or as a pending, you can set a feature image, course content, you can set a course category or the course tag. When you are using a uh, rain theme, then you can also include uh, cover image for it. After the course is created, you have a builder functionality where we have uh, our lessons, what we has been included there. We can also include sections. So this is uh, the easy method uh, to create your, the structure of your courses. So you have sections and under the each uh, chapter, you can also include lessons and the topics, topics and the quizzes. So once you have the course structure ready, you can update the skeleton. So in this course, you have uh, two sections and on these two sections, we have uh, five lessons, chapter 1A, 1B, 1C and chapter 2A, 2B. And inside the chapter 1A, we have also included two topics. And um, once the skeleton is ready, you can also go to the setting option. If you want to include course material, you can also include some content and the course material for this one. And it could be a media file or it could be any zip file or PDF file. So it's completely your call how you are planning to include them. And uh, it could, you can also include a couple of links there to download as a PDF or a video. And uh, the next thing is uh, course content. Like uh, you can put a control on that one. It will be visible to all time visible or only to enrolled member. Next is the co course custom pagination and access mode by default. You can keep it as a open free free. That means anyone who is um, the member of the website can buy the, uh, can enroll to this course by now. That means you are going to do the checkout using uh, learn dash default uh, payment method, either PayPal or Stripe. Recurring, it is also going to use the default payment method. The closed, that is going to utilize the third party payment method. And by default, we have integration with the WooCommerce. 
so if you are trying to create a close course you just have to include the pricing on that one and it will auto generate the product button for you once the lenders uh, WooCommerce add-on is enabled on your website for the course prerequisites like you can select uh, which course need to be dependent on this one so you can also utilize this feature Co for course point you can also assign a point on this course access expiration you can set a timing on that one when the course access will be expired and it could be in days course progression it could be linear or the free from they can jump from any course to any course so you can pick any option from that one share course like uh, if you want to include other um, instructor to this course you can also include them so in that way they will be included as a co-author of this course for uh, custom features like uh, if you want to include uh, to display certain information it is more specific to theme and um, these are like uh, we have 100 videos we have uh, five hour videos so if you want to include what are the highlighted feature of your course you can also include this one and this is not learned as a specific it is more like uh, including additional display on your course update so that will complete the course creation process so right now I'm going to just display how the course uh, is generating the you can see that the product is generated for the WooCommerce the first uh, and it will use the same featured image uh, content on that one and it will use the same pricing what we have used there $99 and the featured image is also set there and this product is linked with the uh, your course creation so in that way you do not have to go and create a um, product and link it uh, with that one it automatically generate the product with the description and the featured image so this is how the product uh, uh, integration is working with the course creation and if you back to the all courses so we have our first course ready here and right now it has zero student that means uh, a student have to enroll to this course or buy this course to have access on that one and this belong to the category and uh, for the lesson point of view if you want to manage these lessons go to the builder and uh, try start editing lessons one by one and then you can start populating content for this one so we have title is ready you have to include the lesson content if you want to use any featured image or categorize them as a lesson or the tags you can also do that for the setting point of view you can include lesson material you for the video progression you can include any video URL like YouTube Vimeo that can be used there display timing or uh, like uh, before completed sub step or after completed sub step like uh, you, if you want to include lesson auto completion that can also be included like uh, once the video is uh, completed then the lesson will be marked as auto complete completion delay like you can also include uh, a delay after uh, the video is uh, completed so right now we do not have any video then I can include a video from the YouTube okay so <clears throat> so right now we have a video there and uh, once this uh, video is paused then the lesson is going to be marked as autocomplete mark complete button if you want to display mark complete button auto start uh, video control pause the video on the unfocused video resume so these are the inbuilt feature from the learn dash itself we had bring them on the front course association it is associated with this uh, course it is only displaying the information and uh, this lesson is accessible for the anyone who is enrolled or not so if you want to make it at a, as a sample lesson to make it public you can also do that lesson release schedule like uh, when you want to enable like uh, it is for the drip content so this is how you have all these options to manage a lesson in the similar pattern you have uh, controls for the topics so I'm going back to the content course content courses and um, if you go to the lessons the lessons what we have created right now they will be listed here and if you want to filter them based on the courses then you can also do that from here like uh, we have a filter option first course from the front end that is uh, what we have right now created and then you have all the lessons which belong to the this course in the same way we have topics 
and these topics can also be filtered based on the to which course it belong so if just i have to modify the topics for the the first course what we have included right now so you have to use this option and then start editing your topics and um, for quiz creation you can also follow the same steps here let me show you the what are the options we have for the topics here for the topic when you are trying to edit a topic you have uh, same features like include the topic title status content featured image if you want to use them for the setting point of view you you can also include the topic material video progression is also there assignment upload you can also enable the function to to enable the upload the assignment topic timer and you also have a section to associate to which uh, course it belong next going back to the quizzes section so you can also create quizzes from the front end so these are the options what we have uh, for the quizzes so you can include uh, quiz title quiz uh, content set a featured image for the builder point of view we have uh, different different uh, questions and if you already have created questions you can just drag and drop here to prepare your quiz for the quiz setting point of view we have uh, to which course it belong to which lesson be it belong what is the passing score for this one what is the quiz certificate you can link a quiz certificate with this quiz and uh, <coughs> restrict quiz retake quiz completion so all the backend options of what we have on the back of uh, learn dash backend for the quiz we have bring that to the front end and if you go to the quiz base here question section like uh, all the quizzes are on the combination of the quizzes so on the quiz you are just including the complete configuration for the quiz and then selecting which question belong to these quizzes for the question point of view when you are trying to create your questions and um, trying to edit any existing question so for the question point of view you can include the question title question content what are the uh, these options and you have answer type based on uh, these quizzes you can include uh, this is a free choice sorting choice multiple choice and based on that one your answers are getting changed so you can include media add more answers based on that one so suppose that you if you have a multiple choice question so you can include more and an answer to that one and if you want to delete them you can delete it for the fill in the blanks questions you can also in use something like this one if you that is the asset type so based on each type of questions what is the available uh, choice as a packet we have displayed everything on the front end and it will create the structure for your question and once all these questions are ready then it can be selected inside the quizzes to come prepare your quizzes for your students for the setting point of view like uh, how much how many point you are providing on this uh, question completion what are the point type what is the options for the correct answer what are the options for the incorrect answer and if you want to display hint or not like this one and if this quiz a question is associated with any quiz then you can find this option here so this is how uh, we are creating all these questions and uh, once the question part is done we have certificate so you can use all the short code what you are available for your learn dash to create your certificate these certificate are not viewable you can utilize the certificate to display once it is associated with a course and uh, you can set a featured image you can use the placeholder to display uh, how your certificate will look like and what is the format for the pdf size letter or the a4 and what is the orientation with that one so th once the certificate is ready and it is associated with any lesson or course and any student is getting that certificate then they can download as a pdf so this is how the certificate management is working and uh, you can create certificate as an instructor as an admin and they can be utilized on any courses what you have created the next thing is the assignment for the assignment point of view all the courses what we have created uh, if they contain any assignment they will be displayed here right now we haven't enabled any uh, course let me go and enable the assignment functionality on the individual course builder 
suppose that I'm going to enable the assignment functionality on this lesson setting assignment upload auto approve update back to the course dashboard so we have uh, assignment then announcement so as an for the announcement point of view uh, we have uh, in the assignment it will display all the assignment which are uploaded by any user and you can navigate back to that assignment quickly from here and uh, for the announcement point of view when you have the announcement you can send a announcement for all the student of a course so suppose that first announcement first message and just including uh, some content for this one So suppose that this is my first announcement and uh, I'm going to select for this course. So this message is going to be sent to all the student of this course, the first course from the front end. So it will be displayed uh, in the announcement section of um, the all the student uh, dashboard. There's a new menu announcement and it will be displayed for them as a announcement. So they will know, know like it could be used for any class scheduling, any online meeting, or any instruction for your student what need to be done as a next so these are the options what we have for the course management and next we have the groups as an instructor or as a site admin you can create uh, manage your groups from here so we have sample groups and um, it belong like you can include what are the courses which belong to that one we have to enable the backend functionality for this one to for the creation of the these groups or the management of these groups so our first video is going to cover what are the options you have for the courses how you are going to create them and how it could be linked with the woocommerce and um, we ha also have two views on this uh, course layout like uh, we have archive uh, grid list grid view and the list view and these one it will able to, you can filter which courses are published or pending or draft or trash and we have a page na navigation to navigate to next courses what we have created there like this so when you are editing any existing course editing any existing course you can also find how many student it belong as a summary on that one so for the setting point of view When the course is free, then anyone can enroll to this course automatically. And in our next video, we are going to explain uh, in more better way how can you can use the WooCommerce features, how that earning is getting divided. So we are wrapping our first video here uh, with all course management option. In the next video, we are going to wrap integration with the WooCommerce how all these reports are going to work, how the monetization features are working, and how uh, you can communicate with your students or is instructors, and then the basic setting for the account payout like this one. Thank you.